Hey, what's up? Cam McCall here. I've ridden every version of the Trek Slash over the years, but this Slash is the most exciting one yet. It's a long travel trail smasher with 170 millimeters of front and rear wheel travel. Since it's made to rip crazy steep stuff, it comes with a mixed wheel size right out of the box. You get a big 29 inch wheel up front for monster truck and over stuff with a smaller 27.5 inch wheel in the back. That makes it easier to get loose, throw the bike around on the trail, and it gives you more bike to butt clearance on those near vertical rock rolls. But if you still crave that full 29 er speed, just swap out the bolt-on lower shock mount to run a big wheel in the back too. You're probably wondering what all of this is. Slash's high main pivot here makes the rear axle move slightly rearward as the suspension compresses. That means the back wheel can move with the rearward force from bumps rather than against it, like a bike with a more traditional vertical axle path. On the trail, it feels like way smoother suspension that maintains more forward momentum and provides more grip. Now, as the rear axle moves backward, it tugs on the chain, which pulls back on the crank. That's called pedal kickback, and it makes for a harsh ride on the legs. Routing the chain around this idler pulley gives it room to grow without extra tension, so you don't get that pedal kickback. This lower idler does the same thing, but for the bottom part of the chain. You're probably thinking, that sounds great for going downhill cam, but how does it pedal? Actually, this bike pedals really well. It pedals better than some of the other high pivot bikes because it has bigger, more efficient idler pulleys and a layout that was optimized for efficiency through tons of testing. Plus, that rearward axle path lets this thing billy go right up super chunky techie climbs. It maintains more upward momentum and the back wheel doesn't get hung up on the edge of rocks or roots. So that's the gist of this high pivot suspension. We're gonna move on because we still have a lot to talk about, but if you wanna geek out over more suspension talk, check out our Slash Suspension video. So now let's talk about what's probably the next question on your mind, geometry. Slash has a super slack head angle that makes it as stable on descents as a true downhill bike. You can also adjust the head tube angle a degree either way by installing these angle adjust headset cups. A steep seat tube angle puts you in the best position to put power to the pedals, while a long reach gives you room to maneuver. And it has room for long droppers for rowdy riders. Most riders can run a 200 millimeter dropper. That's a big dropper. This right here though is my favorite feature, the internal storage door. You can toss your flat kit in there, throw some snacks in, or a lightweight jacket. It's super handy and you'll find it on both carbon and alloy models. Now check out this chainstay guard. Trek engineered the heck out of this thing. Yeah, it protects your chainstay, but also the shape is designed to keep the chain from whipping around. Less chain motion equals less chain noise. This gives you an absolutely blissfully quiet ride. The last thing you wanna worry about on a gnarly descent is all those rocks smashing into your frame. This dual density down tube guard protects your paint and absorbs most of those impacts. Under the paint, there's an extra line of defense with integrated carbon armor. It's an impact resistant film that gives Slash extra protection where it's needed most. Whether you're a park rat, a big mountain trail rider, or an enduro racer looking for more downhill speed, Slash will let the most aggressive riders attack the trail harder and it gives every rider an extra dose of confidence. This bike just devours insane terrain. It's got tons of travel, mad grip, and tons of features that make you ride better.